Okay, everybody, so we have a very special interview for you guys here today. It's rather unrelated to the overall scope of the episode, but because we've never been one for organization, I think that's actually okay. Um, so here tonight, we have people from the Smash Lab. And I'm sure you guys are like, what's that? And I'm sure other you guys are like, oh, wow, these guys are cool. So I'm going to introduce here Biosonic and Rocket Science and Deluxe. Uh, Biosonic, how are you doing in particular? Uh, pretty good. Um, schoolwork and all that. Cool, cool. So, um, who do you have here with you today? Uh, Rocket Pia Science is the other leader of the Smash Lab. He has been running things uh, for quite a few months now. Uh, he took over from our, pre- our previous leader, Veril. And the Lux is our panel, our, uh, I'm sorry, uh, our panel leader. He is in charge of like the release of the standard terms list uh, for each character, the frame data, and he usually recruits uh, people from the character boards to help out uh, with that sort of stuff. Cool. So can you give me at least an overview of what exactly the Smash Lab is? Uh, the Smash Lab is primarily here to gather frame data, to research te- techniques, uh, research uh, or name advanced techniques, all that. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, The Smash Lab is right there uh, for techniques, uh, to name them, to research them. We use hacking tools uh, to research frame data. So essentially your your basic function is to just provide the data that we all would like to use in competitive play, right? Right, and we also research advanced techniques. I'm... Uh, Gimmer has been spot on with his advanced techniques and his research into them with uh, Metagame Minute. And right now we are researching other things. We Some of the things we have completed recently include air walking. And on the hacking side, we've also got hurt boxes that we've recently found with the help of Tumai. And right now he is going around character boards. He's... Uh, not only doing the hitboxes, but he's also like doing these little graphics uh, that show both hitboxes and where their hurtboxes hurt are. Cool. Uh, moving over here to Rocket Science. Uh, Rocket, how long have you been involved with Smash Lab? Um, I'd have to say uh, since the summer of last year. Uh, when I became a moderator, um, I had immediately, immediately got interested in um, taking some sort of role in the Smash Lab. Um, at that time, Viral had just come to uh, leadership, and um, under Viral, not much had happened since he had extremely high expectations of what the Smash Lab would do, and most people simply weren't up at the, his level. And so um, from there, I just um, basically was an active member in there, and when he stepped down from it, I took control, and then school started, and things got really slow, and now we're finally starting back up again. Cool. So with your time with Smash Lab, how, do you feel like it has it all like changed from what you started on? Uh, anything significant in terms of that? It is definitely very different from um, where we had started. Vera was mostly interested in um, research for himself rather than um, more of releases for the public, whereas I'm much more oriented to getting this information to the public because that's who really needs it. Cool. Uh, Deluxe, you are a panel member, so that seems... I would say rather important. So at least tell me about what your job is. Uh, well, as you heard uh, our PSI talking about how there's kind of a lull after he took leadership, and one of the main ways we're looking at was trying to how to spur activity in the Smash Lab. And what I came up with is trying to involve each, like different members from each character board as sort of a way to act as um, a liaison between the Smash Lab, just kind of so. We can get more ideas on what to research and how, and how to go about researching things. Um, there's a huge concentration of like Ice Climber members and uh, Lucas members in the Smash Lab, so they're pretty well represented. So we kind of have like a general idea on what to re- research for that character, but if it's for something that's like a lesser represented character, we had a hard time coming up with topics and things like that. So it's a good way to sort of involve the whole community and get the info that needs to get out. Cool. Well, I mean, one of the things I was thinking about is, like, you know, because I'm, I mean, I guess Will would sort of contribute, not contribute, um, 
benefit more from the information you guys release. But do you, any of you, just answer this? But any of you really think that like what you're doing really does make a difference in the community as well? Yeah, um, with frame data, with a different frame data, you can figure out you know hit hit lag. How does this cancel out that? Uh, with the advanced techniques that we find and put the research into, uh, one of the things that we're putting out a video in a few days uh, is crouch canceling and brawl. And what that does is when you crouch cancel, it cancels hit lag. And some of our members have been researching how to abuse that, how to just rewrite some matchups, for instance. Uh, Fino has been a prime factor in that. He has... Uh, done a lot of work into the Falco Olimar matchup and finding a way to reducing the hit lag in Falco's jab to really redefine the matchup. So you're saying that there's still a lot of things you guys are still finding, you know, three years into the you know competitive scene of this game. Exactly. That's what uh, it goes. <laughs> I mean, um, both games are going to find a lot of things that have yet to be discovered. I mean, even in Melee, they're still discovering stuff even right now. Yeah, that's true. I mean, like, it, it feels like, and, and you know, in many ways, um, especially on the advanced technique side, I felt like, you know, with Melee, just the the uh, the build of the game, there's more ways to find these kind of things. With Brawl, I felt like, oh, you know... We're sort of done, and we've hit the plateau, really. But it, you know, I didn't really realize that you guys are still finding these things. You know, almost on like a situation basis here. I don't know of a daily basis, but that's actually really cool. I mean, I didn't even. As long as Kirby gets some stuff to work with, I'm pretty much set on that. <laughs> um, Will, what about you? What do you? What are your thoughts, questions, comments, concerns? Well, I was actually pretty interested when you guys said that you wanted more character representation and like. You said you were getting, you know, li- liaisons from the character boards, and I was wondering which characters you guys were. Obviously, probably no. It even sounded like some of the lower tiers pe- might even be more interested in frame data and stuff like that. So I was wondering what kind of characters you guys were looking for, like more representation of. Uh, the goal is eventually to get to every single character. Right now, we've pretty much been using Meta Knight as a uh, test or kind of a run through it just to see and right, what we can expect when we do the rest of the characters, but we're almost ready to release a lot of the Meta Knight information, at which point the process is going to uh, speed up fairly quickly, and I think we're going to do most of the top tier next, and then kind of work our way down, unless uh, there really isn't any sort of clear plan, but for right now, it seems like we're going to start at the top tier and work down, kind of based on total number of usage per character all right well because that seems uh, obviously like the smarter choice because a lot of even people that don't use meta knight they're going to want to know his frame data so that they could take advantage of you know his supposed lag wherever that is um or whatever weaknesses he might have but yeah that would be really cool if you guys could get that info out um because i know in general a lot of people myself included have a lot of trouble with things being a fatter character main um, I have a lot of trouble when it comes to like certain types of projectiles. So if there would be some way that, like, like a more useful way of, I guess, either playing in or around the projectiles or avoiding them in a certain way, like, because I don't even know. I just, I just kind of play it by, play it by ear when I see, like, say, if I'm fighting like a Toon Link, and they're just throwing all these sorts of things at me. Like, I don't really know my my best options according to frame data saying like if if he throws a boomerang at me like which tilt should i use like what what'll have the best like if i clash it with this tilt will i have the best frame advantage like things like that so i know with a lot of characters it's probably the same thing that they would know which which of their moves would be like the best option to clash with this projectile or like to clash with this move like i'm still finding out and i've I've been playing competitively for three years I'm just finding out that, like, my up tilt stops, like, certain down smashes if I'm, like, reversed. It's, like, it's crazy. So, like, anything you guys could tell us, like, I'm sure would be really, really helpful. So I'm looking forward to some stuff. Okay. I actually have to agree with that. I feel like um, there's a lot of things that, 
you know, people of, I guess, his caliber, despite the fact that he uses a really unnecessarily large character, but I feel like there's a lot of ways that, yeah, he could sort of figure out, well, you know, what's my best option here? And that sort of brings me to my next point. Like, where do you guys find this info? You know, like, I understand, like, you know, frame betas, you know, in terms of that, but, like, how do you find out, like, oh, this, you know, this move ends up, you know, d- stopping this move at a certain angle, whatever. Like, how do you just f- go about finding these things out? I think RPSI can answer that. Uh, we mostly have a usual uh, table uh, if, like, one hitbox can cancel out the other based on size. RPSI, yeah. if you want um, there's a lot of things about um, the hitboxes. Is that um, we use programs like um, that are desi- designed by the developers to assist with this, and they typically use it to make their own custom characters. However, it gives us a good data viewer, um, such as OSA2 um, developed by Dantarion and uh, Brawlbox uh, developed by Chiral, I believe. Um, and so we use these to help us um, find the definite frame data, but there's also a lot of instances where we have to go in-game and test um, in frame advance, because with projectiles, there's a lot of variables that come into play, which is why we still know very little about projectiles, is that when you think about a projectile, it's out for a very long time, and the amount of variables and different permutations is a lot, and so we still have a lot to discover when it comes to that. That cat just <laughs> chiming in there. I like that. I like that. I think he agrees that there's a lot yeah, to be I found. Just, uh, throw in one thing too, um, and a lot of what we get into researching is brought to us by or brought to our attention by just public requests and things like that. Like we'll see a video of some random incident happening within a brawl match, and then we'll seek to kind of recreate that in frame advance as one way to test to see how certain mechanics work. So it's not just like pulling information from programs out of thin air, but we're like everybody else where we'll see something and be like, how did that happen? And then rather than just kind of sit and not do anything with whatever happened, we'll actually try to go recreate and find the mechanic behind it. So once you find the mechanic, then you're able to use it to your advantage. Makes sense, makes sense. Now finally, you know, you guys obviously, as we found out, are still finding things about the game, which is amazing, but what do you guys see yourselves finding in the future? Is there really much left to find? Um, I mean, I guess there is, from what you've said, but what do you think the future holds for your work? Frankly, um, we can't really say what. I mean, we find videos where, like, these ATs that nobody has done before, and even now, there are, like, ATs that were discovered in 2008 that nobody used now that, you know, if you bring them up now, uh, people start to use them, like platform canceling. I remember that uh, people didn't really use platform canceling at all at first, and apparently I heard from Logic that Mr. R's combo video was, like, okay, everybody's got to learn platform canceling because it's A and B. And I was talking to Coney, and he basically said the same thing, like, we can advance our metagame if we look into past ATs and not really ignore them. But uh, as for the future, I'm not 100% sure, because uh, we may or may not. It's really uncertain. Cool. Well, yeah, well, what do you, what do you have to say, Will? I can actually say from personal experience that after watching Mr. R's combo video that I pretty much hadn't, I had heard of platform canceling, but I had never seen it used so, like, such in an advantageous way that, like, you could literally, like, combo people and, like, set up perfect juggle opportunities in the way that he had. And I honestly, like, the input that I, that we all thought that it was was different because I guess maybe because it wasn't as publicized as as we all you know as it could have been or maybe you guys did put it out there and just not enough people saw it so I think if maybe if you guys had ATs and like you said past ATs and if we look them up and I'm, I'm sure there's videos but if we just find a way to like publicize them more so that more people see them then I think it would be then the metagame would actually advance more because I like, I platform cancel now, but until the Mr. R's combo video, like, I didn't do it at all. And I didn't know until, like, 
semi recently that all you have to do is press down mid jump. Like everybody was thought it was like it was like air dodge and down. It was like down air as you're jumping. It's no, it's just down. Like it's not hard at all. It's, it's not like melee, but mm-hmm. um, yeah, I think we should just work on trying to get it more more out to the public so that. And I think we got, we could help you with that if you guys have any ats that we haven't heard of then you know we could post it for people yeah definitely just let us know and with that said i want to thank you guys for joining us i hope that everybody that's listening realizes that brawl actually has a lot of stuff we don't know about apparently so definitely don't stop playing until super smash Bros. 4 comes out so we can start all over again um so i want to thank all of you guys virusana rocket science and deluxe for joining uh me and will i hope you guys continue to find this information and definitely let us know when some new stuff pops out because we're gonna probably try it and use it to our advantage anyway so we want to know first thank you for having us on yeah thank, thank you. you all right cool